Hi, welcome back to the um, probably almost the final video. Uh, so in this one, we've um, we've got the system really fully configured. Uh, we're monitoring the connectors, frameworks, MetaStore, content engines, and the services. So um, let's actually start a few ingestions so I can show you or you can see some of the information flowing through the uh, the application. So I'm going to go into uh, Control Point and um, I'm going to try to start some ingestions just so we can generate some um, uh, some traffic going through the system and then we can look at uh, where we are in terms of what files are being processed. Um, although we're running 5.8 um, it's, it's really that's that's irrelevant so um, you know we've got systems which are running you know, 5.6, 5.5-1, uh, I think even. Um, so you know that that that's not really that uh, that important. Um, but let me show you. Um, so let me start some ingestions, and we can then go and look at uh, what's going through the system. So um, I've just got uh, some some dummy in, uh, ingestions. So I've got some file system ingestions. I've got an exchange online. Uh, we've got a OneDrive ingestion. Um, so what we're um, what we're going to start, we're going to start a number of these off. We're just going to do um, a full. We're going to basically do a full ingestion, just to generate some um, traffic going through the system, so you can see things actually um, actually happening. So if I start that one off. I'll actually start uh, another one off as well. Maybe we'll start an, an exchange one off as well. So let's switch back now to the monitoring software. Um, and what you can see at the very top is the actual tasks which have been um, which have been detected, the amount of time remaining for these jobs to process their data, um, and you can see Exchange is just being queued. And Exchange Online is going out to uh, 365, so it has to establish that. Um, at the bottom, you can see there are a number of jobs already being queued, and remember when this is scanned for five minutes, so we haven't scanned. This is the event handlers telling us what's um, what's happening on the system and then based on um, historical information about uh, what uh, jobs have been you know time taken for a job to be processed we build uh, an estimated time so you can see for example on this framework um, there are 27 queued jobs for processing and um, estimated is 42 minutes uh, on another particular framework on the right hand side we've got 15 queue jobs to processing but the time um, has just dropped to 45 minutes or 46 minutes um, and then the meta store are going through you know, pretty quickly so five seconds and then we've got some time intervals for the components going through to the um, to the idle database you can see exchange is now kicked off so exchange has got another three uh, well, two and a half minutes to run before it completes. So throughput through this, you know, through the connectors is, is pretty quick. Really, the, the work happens inside the, um, the frameworks. Here you can see the CPU for the individual uh, processes. So in this case, for the actual exchange framework process or the file system framework and how much they're consuming. It doesn't take into account the key view process that we should also be running on the machine. Um, one of the facilities we've got is if we hover over the processing um, uh, window or, or um, box, we'll get a list of the, um, the files that have been processed. So if I go over, for example, here, we will get a drop down box appear of the last 50 files that have been processed. That, that will slowly build as more files get processed. Um, that will refresh in 20 seconds or if there is an update. So if we get an update coming through, 
that a job's completed or finished then that box will be minimized and um, you can select it again but um, that's how it, it gets refreshed <clears throat> so again you can see here that will wait for 20 seconds or until it's refreshed and here are the, the individual jobs from exchange that it's extracted and the type of operations that's being performed these were all ads as opposed to you might find there's been a, a removal uh, they're all ads they're all ads as well so you know you'll be able to ascertain also where um, you know what kind of operations are being performed obviously uh, in certain cases performing a, a removal from the meta store can cause um, uh, significant delays in processing the data so um, what, what we find this is really useful is uh, one it gives us visibility of what's actually being processed what's being queued now we have some form of estimation in terms of um, the, the time scales required before all the components have been processed and the data is available for us to search with inside um, uh, control point um, it gives us good visual representation to make sure all the services are up and running um, or if we need to restart a particular service then we can do it from this single pane of glass um, it also gives us a great mechanism to understand well, actually we really need to compact our databases to maintain that uh, we get optimum performance um, and we can also monitor the the level of space that's being consumed by the content engines to make sure that we um, we're not ever going to have any problems um, with, with, with space allocation so hopefully you found that useful uh, what I should have mentioned I'm not sure if I did mention that each of these slots um, are simply for jobs which are executing uh, you will probably find that their um, you know control point by default doesn't have the capability of running four slots it's limited to two but that's purely a configuration setting we've simply de designed it to have four that should there be environments where you know there are more jobs um, or more uh, tasks being processed by the connectors then we, then we can monitor them um, if um, if there are more then we just basically won't display them on the screen we just collect the information in the background um, I hope you found that useful um, the the future we're looking to add probably now more um, event driven so we'll probably um, want to extend the event handler capability to the connectors and to the content engines um, we also want to add some um, uh, alarm condition so basically, you know, if, uh, for example, our disk space limit falls below a, a predefined limit, then let's start generating um, some alarms. Or if the, uh, for example, the processing, um, the amount of CPU occupied by a single component is uh, above a threshold, or if a number of jobs which are queued, or maybe a number of jobs are not being processed for some reason. And that could be due to um, you know a disk space limitation again, maybe on the um, on the actual uh, framework. So if the framework has a problem and the queues are just building, then we want to be able to alarm on that condition to give a more proactive approach. Um, hopefully, you found that useful. If you have any problems with configuring configuring individual components. Um, then feel free to contact us our email address is at the very top of the uh, the application the screen or if you have some um, you have a particular requirement which you think would be useful in your environment that you would like to see added then we are more than happy to um, you know take requests and we'll, we'll add the functionality um, to, to to make uh, the whole experience better thank you for your time and um, Hope your monitoring goes well. Thank you. Bye-bye.